Welcome back to Good Things. We are streaming live over at supertalk.fm. We're also streaming from that Supertalk Mississippi app. We hope you've downloaded that. You can always find us, too, on your local Supertalk Mississippi radio station. But don't forget about Supertalk TV, where you can watch us on your computer or your mobile device. Now, having the opportunity to stay fit and healthy, I think, is definitely a good thing. And Greater Belhaven Foundation has worked to get a new Keith Herring Fitness Court in Belhaven Nights, and it's Belhaven Heights, excuse me, Park. And it's the first of its kind in Mississippi and Mary Alex Thickpin. She is the executive director of the Greater Bel- Belhaven Foundation. She is joining us to tell us a little bit more. Hey, Mary Alex. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for having me. That was a mouthful, the Greater Belhaven Foundation, but I got it I got it out. So, and you guys you are great. definitely up to some good things. And I think this is cool anytime we can get Mississippians the opportunity uh, to get healthy. So how did all this come about? Yeah, so in 2019, um, Jackson was selected by the Keith Herring Foundation as one of the national sites for one of their Keith Herring Fitness Courts. And the court initially was funded um, by benevolent donors through the Community Foundation as well as the Jackson Heart Foundation, Visit Jackson, Trustmark, and a number of others. Um, But then we had that little pandemic that interrupted life for us and when that happened the project basically stalled and the equipment was procured but basically sat in a warehouse um, from 2019 until uh, July of this year. So um, the Greater Bellhaven Foundation and some residents of Bellhaven Heights um, proposed relocating this fitness court to the Bellhaven Heights Park in order to link it with the museum trail and some other assets and things, exciting things that are happening over in that area of our footprint. Um, so the neighbors wrote letters to our city councilwoman, Virgie Lindsay, who proposed it to the city council and they approved the location as did the national fitness campaign. Um, and we basically facilitated the installation of the court and uh, found a couple other donors to help some other incidental costs. And now we're excited to host a ribbon cutting for this court on September 26th. That's pretty cool. Okay, Mary Alex, if they're looking over at supertalk.fm, they're seeing, uh, supertalk TV, excuse me, they see a few of the photos of the new um, gym or the fitness court. But how do you describe it to folks? How do you kind of explain it? It's not just like a basketball court or, you know, it's not like your traditional weight room that you would go to in your local sort of gym. Um, It it looks different than maybe some things folks have seen before. Yeah. So basically it describes the the way the National Fitness Campaign describes it as the world's best outdoor gym designed by fitness experts to deliver a powerful seven-movement workout program for adults 14 years or older and for all fitness levels. There's also a corresponding app that you can download that serves as sort of a digital coach in your pocket um, to help you navigate the court. So a lot of it is free weights, body weights work, and then there are a lot of different routines and uh, exercises you can find using that app. But like I said, it connects now with the museum trail and the Bellhaven mountain biking trails. So we're hoping it provides really an immersive outdoor recreation experience for fitness enthusiasts and helps our neighbors stay healthy and also recruits visitors to our neighborhood um, who are looking for fitness and outdoor recreation opportunities in so, the metro area. So the Bellhaven Heights Park is within your neighborhood there, Bellhaven Heights, Mary Alley's. But anybody who's enjoying those trails or out sort of enjoying outdoor activities, I know Bellhaven for the metro area for sure is a sought-after place for running. I don't know why you all have those heels, but folks just flock to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> flock to yeah. them for some reason. Well, I know they're good for we, it, uh, but is it open to anyone, I think, is what I'm, I was trying absolutely. to get out to. Yeah. Yes, it is free and open to the public. Um, of course, the Greater Bellhaven Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit, and so we welcome and encourage people who utilize that asset to consider a donation to the foundation so that we can continue to make it beautiful. You know, we do have a plan to add some amenities to the park, landscaping, lighting, security, parking. Those are other things that 
we think will um, help the duration and sustainability of the fitness court and also make it more attractive. But they cost money, so it may take us a little time um, to add those sort of accessories, so to say, to the fitness court. But, yes, you can access the um, Bell, Bell Haven Heights Park right off of High Street or uh, uh, Monroe Street as well. And, um, yeah, it's open to anyone who wants to use it, and we hope people will come out, um, whether they want to walk the museum trail, ride bike from the mountain biking trails, or come do some free body weights that's all free and available to them here in the greater bell haven footprint mary alex you um, mentioned this is the first of its kind in mississippi are there other states mm-hmm. that have these keith herring fitness courts or is it just that you know the way it's set up is kind of unique to our state yeah miss so we um this is the first one in mississippi there's only 12 of these outdoor fitness courts currently in the country Um, So we are in a small group of people who have this really neat asset. And, you know, like you mentioned before, it's not just an outdoor gym. It also has a -a one-of-a-kind imprint of Keith Haring's art on it. So it really is an art display. And we have other displays of public art around that area, including a really wonderful mural on the museum trail as well. So we feel like we're also providing access and opportunity to community arts as well as uh, fitness and recreational opportunities. So we feel like that's a great a great mix of, of things that we can offer to the neighborhood and to the metro. Obviously, this is a, a great thing that the Greater Bell Heaven Foundation has been able to do with other partners. But Mary Alex, what else are you guys up to as a, as a nonprofit um, in terms of right there in that community? When you're not working on the gym, what else are you guys working on? Yeah, well, so the Greater Bell Haven Foundation is also the state's first community improvement district. And so basically that means that the individuals that live in our footprint, um, we are able to leverage funds from those residences to do things like beautify the neighborhood. So some of the things that we've done recently are we've paid for a company to come and vacuum out a number of storm drains in our neighborhood to help mitigate flooding. Um, We work with uh, our our representatives, our city councilwoman and our city council, as well as uh, legislatures to help get some things like road repaving done, prioritizing specific roads we'd like to have repaved. Um, Right now we're working on a project to help extend a sidewalk. Um, So just things we we pay for maintenance uh, of Riverside Drive, Fortification Street, um, just a lot of things to make the area more beautiful, more safe, and more attractive. Well, definitely good things happen whenever neighbors come together to sort of help out their, you know, their community and their neighborhood. And this is just a great sort of example of that. You mentioned the ribbon cutting. Has it already happened or is it coming up? September 26th at 10 a.m. It is free and open to the public, and we hope that media will come out there, too. We're going to have um, speakers from the different funders who've been integral in making this project um, come to fruition, as well as we're excited we're going to be able to showcase some of our neighborhood Murrah High School cheerleaders and student athletes who are going to serve as ambassadors for us and demonstrate some of the workouts that you can do on the court. I was just going to ask Mary Alex, who gets the first workout? Who gets the opportunity? Yeah, to, yeah. And, and yes, yes you're, we, right, uh, you're good bringing in youngsters. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. And we, you know, we're partnering with those schools in our footprint. And so we're excited to have some Murrah student athletes out there to show us what can be done on this fitness court. Well, you guys showed us what can be done when neighbors come together, too, for and think about, you know, how to uh, to expand and sort of enhance the, where they live. And I think this is a really cool thing. So kudos to you guys, and best of luck. Hope folks come out and enjoy it, especially if they're coming through and exercising and getting out and doing those other trails. What a great just addition to, to all of the tourism that's already going on in that area. Yes, we hope so. Well, Rebecca, we appreciate the opportunity to talk about it with you today. And we hope to see some people out there on the court. Sweating, getting a little pump on, whatever it is. That they right. Have, whatever they do. Yeah. Oh, thank you for your time, Mary Alex. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think these are great ideas. I think communities should have these opportunities to come and sort of do, you know, it's not just what you would think in terms, I guess, 
maybe back in the, where I know what I'm thinking of, like the 80s or the 90s, but I'm thinking more of like in beach towns when they had like the iron little uh, playgrounds outside that all the bodybuilders would come out. It's not like that. Talk about Muscle Beach? Yeah. In Venice? Yes. With the, <laughs> with the open air weight room, yeah. Everybody's mind went straight to like, that is what, no, this isn't it. It's a little cooler than uh, than that, probably a little safer too. Um, but cool, cool things are think cool things are happening all around, but stick with us. We got more for you coming up next.